Do you want to come over and join us on the sofa? I would love to. We'll uh, shove up so that there's room. Oh. Hannah's going to destroy the I'm set gonna destroy while we're at it as well. While we're at it as well. It's, <laughs> all right. it's rock and roll, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys noticed. We're all. Um, I'm going to call it turked up. Yeah, today. we're turked up. We've go. got. Uh, got Hashtag turked up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've got we've got wristbands. We've got a CD. We've got mugs, coasters. It's all. We got it all. And a cool thing that um, we want to talk about looks like a cassette, but wait, it's um, actually. Do you want to explain it? Because you'll probably sure. explain it better than me. <laughs> so it looks like a cassette, but it is actually a USB key that has all of the songs on my newly released album, Josh. And once you download the songs, you then have a free USB key. It's a twofer. See? How <laughs> handy is that? Great value for money as well. Pop that back <laughs> yeah. there. So how are you doing today? Doing great. Thank you very much for having me. That's oh, all right. right. The pleasure's all ours. Nice to have you. So I understand, right? If I'm right, you're doing three shows today, aren't you? I am, yes. That's, are you not? Busy day. Yeah, how are you not <laughs> knackered? You know what? It's, uh, it's funny. Uh, You'd think that it would be it would be quite tiring. There's driving involved, and but I, I really do love what I do, and I'm very grateful to be able to say that I get to do what I love to do. And so every show is just a whole new batch of energy, a whole new rush of adrenaline. So I actually prefer the days when I'm playing back to back to back because there's no time in between just to kind of you know come so off the of that energy. Kind of exactly, it's a constant. Level. So, uh, so where are you going out first? You're going to, you're going to Warwick, aren't you? We are. And then yes. where's your own um, and then, uh, headline track? Yeah, so Warwick is another coffee house Sessions uh, gig, which will be great. You know, I started playing acoustic shows in Canada. And so this has been really nice because lately we've been playing a lot of full band shows, met some incredible musicians out here, and we've just been having a blast since. Um, but actually this evening, I'm playing The Good Ship in London, and that will be a full band show. You know, full-blown rock so and roll. So what is thing. full band? What so, do you have? Um, what we have, we've got bass, we've got keys, we've got uh, an amazing guitar player, amazing drummer. Well, they're, they're all amazing. The whole <laughs> combined. Exactly. Very grateful to have met these guys. Um, we actually met when I was on tour with The Soldiers. I'm not sure if you're familiar uh, with them. name rings a bell. Yeah, they're uh, three squaddies that uh, they came out with an album. I think they sold half a million copies, and most of the proceeds went to the ABF. So it's a, it was a really great cause, really good bunch of guys. So I met this band touring with the soldiers, and uh, we came back over here in January and asked them if they'd like to play with us. <laughs> and the rest, as they say, is history. I've been with you ever since. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> after you, you. No, after you. Okay. I was just going to say, you have pretty impressive hair. Going well, from gig you. to gig, is it hot? <laughs> do you have to do a lot to it, or is it just? You know, does it sit like that? No, it's it's pretty plug and play. It's just you know, wake up in the morning, you jump that's, in the shower. Is that, is that, is that your bed hair? Maybe. What is? Is that your bed hair? Then it's not not quite bed head. You know, I, <laughs> I do take care of it every now and again. You know, it needs a little bit. Of you, work. you need to wash it every now and again. It starts, it starts <laughs> Only to every now and again, though. <laughs> it's like we'll actually have some questions about music. How's the? Uh, how did you actually get involved in the coffee house tour? Well, um, you know, I always say that when you're trying to. When you're trying to do anything, really, it's about putting in the hours. It's about putting in the time. And especially with playing and performing, whether it's um, music or acting, the best teacher and the best way to gain different opportunities is by getting out there and actually performing, whether it's going to open mic nights, going to coffee houses and just playing a couple songs. And it was through shows in that kind of vein um, that I met up with someone who is connected to the guys working the coffee house sessions and we were talking about potentially doing the tour and before I knew it I was Here on a plane are. heading to London. Have you ever have you looked at any other acts on the coffee house tour? Yeah, there are some pretty incredible people that are coming through the coffee house and they I mean Hugh Stevens has done a terrific job along with the guys at Coalition Talent to really pick out very unique voices, very unique styles of playing and it's a wonderful opportunity again to be able to go to different universities, different coffee houses, get a feel for the environment and play for your peer group. I mean, at least for me, I'm an English lit major, so being in a university. Ask, what did you study? Yeah, but that, that <laughs> I'm was, also psychic. No. <laughs> that, that, was back in, uh, that was back in Canada, wasn't it? You went yes. To university. Did you get into music at university or was it something that you just sort of carried on there? Music was, um, well, actually, music was something that was always in the house. I grew up on a very healthy diet of 70s, 80s rock and roll. And um, 
It's the best kind of diet. Exactly. Don't need vegetables, just keep feeding them rocks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I grew up listening to music, there was always something playing in the house and by the time I got to about 15, I had kind of decided that I wanted to learn how to play guitar and so my dream was to be the next Slash. You know, I figured <laughs> big hair, I'm hat, already yeah. halfway there, so it's, just got to learn how to play the guitar. And so, you know, I started learning over the summer and I was working at a summer camp and one day I was practicing some of the chords for uh, Wonderwall actually, by Oasis. And cute young female counselor walks up and says, what are you playing? I said, oh, it's Wonderwall by Oasis. She stops me and says, well, you're going to have to start again because I won't be able to follow the song unless you sing it. Now, again, my dream was Slash. I, singing was the <laughs> furthest thing from my mind at the time. But I'm in this dilemma. She's kind of cute. So I'm like, what do I do? Well, you definitely Couple go of, for it. Absolutely, right? <laughs> you get it? Yeah. So, um, I start the song again and I start singing. By the time I'm done, she's looking at me and she says, I didn't know you were a singer. And I said, neither did I. <laughs> Since then, I've been singing. <laughs> what happened after that, though? That's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah, that's the part uh, of the story. That's, 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 a, that's another story. That's, <laughs> that's off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a really cute like, way to get into music. Very like, sweet little story. So what, I mean, are you, are you enjoying coming back to university? Because oh, you, you finished now? No, I'm, I'm in my last year, actually. Oh, are you? Yeah, what, yeah. So you're studying, what, how are you doing the part-time? <laughs> is this disrupting <laughs> this your studies? No, you know, it's, um, my professors, thank God, have been very uh, supportive, very understanding about me needing to miss class. But uh, I do, unfortunately, have exams the week I get back. So. Oh, no. So are you, like, yeah. while you're on tour, are you kind of studying? and? Every chance you get, you know. Probably more not studying than studying. I was, was going to say, I'll test you now, but I don't actually know enough about <laughs> English literature to That's okay. That's have a right. go. <laughs> right, so I mean, what, I mean, going back to you talking about uh, how you got into music, yeah. what would you say are your main influences? I always gravitate to artists that tell a story in their music. Um, artists like Bruce Springsteen, um, Ed Sheeran is another example. He's been an incredible influence. And um, Adam Duritz of Counting Crows. Because when they're telling a story, when they're singing a song, you can tell that that song is coming from somewhere very close to them. They're relaying their own experiences and giving you a bit of a window into their life and the way that they're thinking, the things that they're feeling. But at the same time, they make those songs so accessible to everybody that's listening. And you can always find a place of, for your own in those songs. And that's definitely something I've tried to emulate in my writing. So, I mean, I agree with you completely. The best songs are the ones that tell stories. Because I went to see Bruce Springsteen Earlier this year, I think just, I can't remember. You're, you're such a name dropper. I am. <laughs> oh, name I went to the Arctic Monkeys. Oh, That's I went show, to Bruce Springsteen. I, I never said I went to the Arctic Monkeys. Yeah, but you did. You told me yeah, that. Yeah, I did. I did. No, I went to I went to see him, and, he, and, and you're absolutely right. He does. It's you feel connected to him. I mean, there absolutely. were sixty thousand people there, but you felt like you feel like he's talking to each and every one. Just for you, exactly. absolutely. <laughs> Although, actually, no. On the subject of Bruce Springsteen, yeah, let me yeah. get my little facts out. You have uh, <laughs> This is true. Have you you played with the? Uh, the, the mighty Max Weinberg, I did. the drummer of the E Street Band, for anyone who doesn't know. That was uh, surreal, and it's still something I'm trying to wrap my head around, because he's the mighty Max Weinberg, the guy's insane. <laughs> um, Star of late night television. Seriously, yeah. Conan O'Brien, like, it's a big deal. How but, did it um, actually come about then? He, uh, he was hosting an event in Toronto, and you know, I always, um, it's not my quote, just before I say it, but I always say that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And he was standing there by himself for a little while, and I thought, okay, this is my shot. I walked up to him, I said, hi, my name is Josh Turk, I'm a huge fan of what you do. It would mean a lot to me if you took my demo, took a listen, let me know what you think. He took the demo, he was a great guy, really down to earth, and I was just thrilled that he took it, you know, I didn't think anything of it. A couple weeks later, I got an email from him and his team saying, we really like what you're How doing. How did he get your email? Is he, is he plugged in? Like I, I've got an email on the website, which is actually so joshturk.com. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> <as well. laughs> um, so yeah, we, he got a hold of our email through the website, contacted us, and basically said, I'm really interested in what you're doing. One thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was on a plane heading to South Orange, New Jersey to open up for his big band project. Really? Yeah, yeah that was so incredible. Exciting. So big, big stuff then, pretty much. Yeah, he's, he's been very supportive, and um, he's taught me a lot, not only as a performer, but 
in the way that he interacts with people. He's so down to earth, he's so willing to give everybody as much time as they want. All he wants to do is, you know, communicate with people who are actively looking to communicate with him. And that's, that's really important, you know, in this, in this kind of industry and especially in the music business because without the fans you have nothing. Without the people listening, without the people who are actively, you know, taking in your music and feeling something and want to express that to you, I mean, that's why we're here. Yeah, and you've come really far to do it. <laughs> Is there anything from home that you're missing right now? Uh, definitely my family and friends. I mean, I've, I've got a very close family, and I've actually got four younger siblings, so uh, I miss them quite a bit, but you gotta love the internet, right? Skype and Facebook, it's, you can talk to them, as long as you have Wi-Fi, you can talk to them pretty much at any point. Exactly. So. Well, they were talking about the internet, and you mentioned <laughs> briefly earlier, Yes. Hashtags. Now, I've noticed you're a bit of an avid hashtagger. I am. There was one that, <laughs> throughout the Coffee House tour, I've noticed a hashtag in some of your photos that I just want to, um, just want to discuss. Suck my acoustic. Yes. Just, <laughs> yes. What, someone whooped there. That was good. That is, yeah, thank you. That, that is possibly the greatest name for an acoustic night that I have ever seen. I was playing at New Bucks University, and they were having an open mic night, and the name of this open mic night was suck my acoustic. And I just thought that was brilliant. That's, that's amazing. See, I'm new to the world of Twitter. Oh, I'm actually the head of uh, social media for Demon TV, but okay. I never used my own personal Twitter account. <laughs> and uh, people kept saying to me, Hannah, this is ridiculous. So I've she was asking me this morning, she's like, so if yeah. I put an at at the beginning of the name, does that tag them? And I was like, yeah. It's, um, it's a scary world. So yeah, but know. hashtagging, yeah. I found it's good fun. Oh, absolutely. You can hashtag <laughs> just about anything, too. I don't, I don't think we'll be hashtagging suck my acoustic today. Maybe we could think, of a, think of a new one. Absolutely. Hashtag Josh, Yousef, Hannah. But contract it all together yes. like... J-Y-H. Jan, Jan, Seth. I'm just saying, I'm just brainstorming. I'm just brainstorming. It's like a, it's like a couple name. <laughs> Jan, Seth. <laughs> cool, well, should we hear a couple more of your tracks yeah. and then we'll do a bit more chat? And also, you're going to take part in our paper aeroplane challenge. I am. So yes. That's coming up. Be so excited. Soon.